Hello! Oh my god, this is so freaky. Welcome to the YouTube space in London, where they've got a brown sofa, which is very welcoming. But I'm using my little portable camcorder that I never realised had such a crazy fisheye lens on it. Like my hands are nearly touching, but it looks like they're wide enough apart to pick up the bloody moon. Anyway, that's all very freakish, but doesn't bring us on to the subject of the day, which is pick and mix. What I've done is I have bought some nostalgic pick and mix treats to annoy chef Barry Lewis with. Unfortunately he did it to me first and fed me his five favourite nostalgic things and having gone first he used up some of my favourites including blackjacks I'd got for him which are aniseed and apparently he hates. That would have been great but no he has pipped me to it. So here are my five in no particular order he lied because I'm actually going to put my absolute favourite first. Candy shrimps or foam shrimps, as we called them back in the day. For some reason, somebody thought it was a good idea to make a kid's sweet that looked like seafood. Well, loosely like seafood. I'm still not sure what it tastes of. To the, or, I don't have a clue what it tastes of. Like a sort of faint, sweet, almost bubblegummy flavour? Don't know how to describe it, really. If it is supposed to be a flavour, they did a very bad job with it, but I bloody love these. So that's going to be number one. Number two is the direct follow-on, the foam banana, which for some reason is massive. Um, I remember these being the same size as that, but they seem to have grown over the years, or at least in the pick-and-mix place I went to. It's similar. It's got that artificial banana flavour to it, which tastes nothing like banana whatsoever. But um, I really like them, so I'm going to put him over there like that. Next up, I'm not such a massive fan of... Palmer Violets. These, again, have gone gigantic. I couldn't buy any normal-sized little ones as used to come. You just get these giant things. I don't mind these, but um, they're not something I would generally pick out. As described here, <laughs> my massive fisheye lens. Don't watch this in a big television, you'll get some sort of vertigo. Delicately perfumed violet sweets. Yes, perfumed. They basically taste like an old woman's perfume, is the only way I can describe Palmer Violets. Um, I think perhaps acquired taste would be a description of them. Anyway, I'm hoping Barry hates them because that would be endlessly amusing. Next, the large gobstopper. The huge gobstopper. The giant gobstopper. It's like a bloody golf ball made of sugar, effectively, and you can just lick and suck it for the rest of your life. Or, alternatively, get bored with it after a minute because it's gone sticky, drop it on the floor, then it gets covered in dog hair. Um, I, these are odd things. They're exactly the right size to sort of choke a child to death. So, uh, you know, if you're young and you want to choke to death on something, this is quite a cheap alternative to golf balls. And finally, what I consider to be the classic of all pick and mix stuff, even though they're not really that nice, flying saucers. Can't believe Barry didn't do this one. This is essentially an edible paper with some sherbet inside. There's really nothing else to say to it. You can chew them and drop the sherbet everywhere, or you can dissolve them in your mouth slowly. Either way, you'll be pleased with it, even though it doesn't taste that great. Anyway, this sounds like time to annoy Barry. Right, Barry, time for some pick and bits. Why have you got this? This doesn't make a noise. Oh, come on now. Sorry. <laughs> I've deflated them. Oh my gosh. You are far too amused with the props in this room. Uh, there is, so this is the YouTube space in London if you don't know where we are guys, and it's like, I've been out of the room for a minute looking at props while uh, Stuart's done his video on his Japs, uh, fish eye lens. Uh, no, there's a bone. But in my pick and mix video, before I try this, I just realised I forgot to add in electrical cable things. They are so, so good. Do you remember these? Very, very vaguely. It's not something I would have picked for the pick and mix, which mm. is why I didn't. Yes, they are so, I mean, uh, maybe you want to chew on one while well, I taste uh, what you've got for me, I, uh, I don't know. This is quite hairy. Have you dropped this on the floor? <laughs> yeah, fetch. I've got another one, I think, if you want. But uh, these two, like green ones, red ones, I think you get all different colours now. It's so, so good. It's like it's oozing blood. Yeah, it's really good, honestly. I'll take your word for that. I'm and not trying to make it. like that long. Right. My hand went off the screen, but that long. I noticed you've got a better pick and mix place than me. Yours had like a bespoke posh bag, whereas mine's just like... <laughs> Tesco of, yeah, um, the no frills hot mix. dog version of the chicken mix. These are 20 year old, are they, right? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. But with a pick and mix place, you're never bloody sure. No, no. It's so just right. a shove, isn't it? All in. Yeah, could have been in there for 50 <laughs> years. Rock hard. Oh. Who knows? First up, do you like <gasps> foam shrimp? Yes, I do like foam shrimps. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. That is my favourite shrimp. shrimp. Yeah. Bubba Cum Shrimp. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you've got new legs. New shrimp, I don't know. Oh, I used Lost to love it. due to diabetes. It feel quite <laughs> diabetes. It used to feel um, a lot softer than that from what I remember. But it, hopefully... was, it did seem a bit hard yeah. when I picked up, but I wasn't sure. I don't know. Perhaps so... it has been in there for 20 years. Yeah, it's a... 
Mm. Now he's enjoying it. Mm. I've failed in my mission. Oh my gosh. Do you remember those, um, another nostalgic treat? They taste just like that. I can't quite grasp the taste of it. They're like little white uh, matchstick cigarettes. You used to get them in a pack oh like baby yeah. kids cigarettes. Yes, or candy sticks. That's like I think they call them now. Mm, yeah. Like a chalky vibe. So it doesn't taste of prawns slash shrimp, depending on your geographical location, which is good. So prawns shrimp are the same thing? Yeah. I never knew that. I thought mm. shrimp were smaller or something. Well, whenever I call it shrimp in a video, uh, UK people go, Oh my god, that's a prawn man! Well, in a UK accent. And then, in a, <laughs> <laughs> and then they do it the other way around. They're like, hey, that's, not, that's actually a shrimp. So, um, yes. Reverse that and you'll get what I mean. But I might blow my mind, Barry. <laughs> Is this how you see your audience? Geographically <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I do it by sort of shrimp, the how they call it shrimp. Oh, okay, okay. I'm hoping to catch you with this one. It's its evil twin, Okay. the fake banana flavoured foam banana. Oh my gosh, okay, a foam banana. Yeah. Uh, possibly like a cheap uh, mobile handset again. Uh, do you like this? This one looks like it's been sort of possibly partially bit by a velociraptor. Or well, a I did notice that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Decided not to draw attention. <laughs> it's had a little nibble on it. Um, I will bite away from that so I can show you in a minute. But... Oh, very firm but fair, like the French police possibly, like a nice banana -y scent to it, still powdery, but again, quite like those chalky sticks. Yeah. I'm loving them, there's like a foaminess to it, a tenderness that makes me feel like oh, there's like a big banana pillow and I'm resting right here. That's the best way I can describe the taste. My god, that was really poetic. I'd have just said, <laughs> fake, <laughs> like fake banana, yeah. choked it to one side. It's, yeah, like the shrimp, but a little firmer. You really saw in the bag, then that would have ruined everything. I'm really hoping you dislike the next one on the grounds that I think pretty much everybody ever born does. Okay. Palm of Violets. Mm. I'm not even sure if these are technically pick and mix, but they got some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not a fan of those actually. I Good. don't like the scent of them, I don't like the taste of them. Um, violet, you know, you can get sort of um, you know, violet flavouring for cakes and things. Uh, a lot of people use that, like rose water. Not a fan. And that is essentially. Oh, man. Like, Such a pungent aroma. Mm. Ever sniff a mar violet? So. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, yes. It is like um, like panache. As like a, a perfume my my nan used yeah. to wear, panache. And I that, said that earlier. Oh, really? It, it, it does. It taste yeah. like old women's smell. You know, for, for, if you've got a grandmother or grandfather, no, not the grandfather. They probably get offended actually. Uh, just buy him a flat hat. <laughs> just buy your granddad a, a flat hat. But for your grandmother, he's been um, drinking your man's <laughs> perfume. We're on quite a sugar high, we've had quite a lot of sugar in the last uh, few days. I'm going to have one as well. They can sort of rub it on their necks now, but... Oh, I'm going to smell of rose water now. Hard. Do you know what? I'm enjoying them more than I used to. If I bite quick and chew quick... <laughs> if I close my eyes, you can't see me. Ah, I swear, I just caught your face out of the corner of my eye. Oh. Right? Mm. Oh, through me. You're really not enjoying it? No. Right? I don't know why. I'm not really enjoying it. mine. I didn't need to spit it out, it's just not nice. You know, it's not revolting. It's not, no, it's not revolting. It's just something about the rose water. It's making, listen. Mm. Uh, what have you got next, Lisa? Yeah? I'm really enjoying it. So I'm just gonna sit here and let you taste that while I enjoy mm. this one. Mm. All it feels like if I got a bottle of that panache uh, from my nan, from her old sort of boudoir of various perfumes and just chunk little sips out of it and sort of used it as mouthwash. I was so surprised you didn't um, hand these ones over to me. <gasps> Flying saucers. Amazing. I hope that our British audience particularly, because I don't think you can get them pretty much anywhere else, you might be able to get equivalents, can respect how awesome these are. They are childhood for anybody born in the 70s or 80s. Right? Yeah, effectively just sort of paper, right? Mm. So, so good. Shaky, shaky. That sure, that sounds a bit hard. Actually. <laughs> it's going to be like a rock. Ah. Like, uh, well, he's a, he's a chewer, not a dissolver. Yeah. Oh. At first, it pretty much is like eating paper. And then, the moisture you saliva hits it and it starts to wrap around your tongue, kind of like an anaconda in your mouth. I don't know where I'm going with this, but then that sherbet hits you and takes you on a roller coaster ride of sherbet happiness fantasy land. Mm. I'll take your word for that. So I just remember tasting of, yeah. Sherbet covered in paper, really. Mm. Not even literally what they are. Yeah, let's say it's that initial dryness you're thinking, am I actually eating paper? Which would be an amazing prank, okay? So you could do this at home. Make, make some ones out of coloured paper, fill them with salt, okay, and give it to your friend. <laughs> oh my gosh, you could have done that to me. So you've got like a telephone directory, <laughs> put it across it, and just full of salt. Love yeah, it. so yeah, yellow pages, an edible salt. That was good. Oh my gosh! Look at that. I didn't even think these were part of picking this, but they're definitely in there. Yeah. yeah. It's like 
It's heavy, Jesus. Uh, so these are everlasting gobstoppers, right? Giant gobstoppers, I think. Technically, everlasting was a Willy Wonka thing. We don't want to get sued. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So they are sort of speckled. Looks almost like a partial sort of dinosaur egg that's decided to get more spherical than. Peril? It's been laid Peril? by something, and it's got a little bit of blood on it. There's something. For Maybe it's the about. chicken. Maybe it's the chicken. <laughs> Oh god, this is going to be grotesque. What came first, the chicken or the, uh, the uh, dinosaur egg? Or the, I'm really glad there wasn't a hole in it to squeeze that through. I kind of needed to squeeze though as I did it. Why isn't it squeezing? Anyhow, I'll let you uh, talk while I... Oh, oh my god, tell you. These always scare me, as if they're going to actually kill you. What? I mean, you couldn't chew it, they'd just break all your teeth, literally. What? Like, rock hard. Whoa. Absolutely rock hard. Whoa. <laughs> and there was silence. Whoa. I'll just enjoy that for a <laughs> think about my palm of violets. What do they taste of? I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a bit shrouds as we go on. I feel like I just gave birth to it out of my mouth. It's just so big. that like the, the girth of it, I'm like, I don't know where we're going with this. It's I know, it's gonna end up my mouth. on tombstone. <laughs> and all I could do was sort of like be like a windscreen wiper with my tongue on the back of it and try and work it down. There is no flavour. In this at the moment at all. There's no. I want all of you to make images of Barry's face with these quotes <laughs> written across in an impact font. Mm. That would be marvellous. <laughs> Memes, or whatever. Ah. Yeah, this I mean, is really crumbling to dust quickly. It's um. Wow, I'm sort of. I don't know if it's got gloss on it, but my fingers are going quite white. Um, I don't remember him being that chalky. Well, I guess it's a good thing that you give me this one last, so I could just That's carry on with it, and then uh, on my two and a half hour train home from London. <laughs> My sister got me one years ago. I remember it was it was like twice the size of that, maybe bigger. You couldn't fit it in your mouth, and I had it for like weeks. And you were thinking this is probably getting quite unsanitary. Mm. Uh, there's like flies stuck to them, not really, but um, it was wrapped in a bit of cling film, and occasionally mm. went and licked it. But I don't remember it um, turning into dust like that. Mm. Oh well, Barry's got his mouth full, so I'm going to say goodbye and steal his hat because he can't do anything about it. Anyway, if you want to see the other half, um, where Barry gives me sweets, that's on Barry's channel now. You might have seen that one that led you here. If so, go and watch it again. Or so. I, I don't know how this thing works. Yeah. Watch the other one. Click on me. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. We're not very good at this, are we? Let's oh. just wear hats and pull faces. Oh. <laughs> you, broke the, you broke YouTube's chicken. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Our channels will be cancelled in the morning. <laughs> I'm giving it chicken CPR. <laughs> Talk You're to me! Show <laughs> you have to hide it. Yeah, I'm at the chicken. Come on now. Well, no, it's actually got a hole in its bum. There is actually a... Uh, looks like you've been eating chalk. <laughs> yeah, it actually fun. feels like... I mean, there is like gloss on it. It's massively small already. Oh, I inflated it, to be fair. Subscribe for more. Oh, I mean, <laughs> don't forget to buy Barry's cookbook now available <laughs> yeah. in stores nationwide. Family friendly. <laughs>